Man, come on, God, my friends, and I know what many of you are thinking. What a weird matchup. Cheap Trick versus Savage Shot is apples and oranges. Yes, I know. I know. But it is Robert McGrath that asked me to do this. And I'm like, right on. I'm not going to complain how different they are, but I am going to complain how this album here, Hall of the Mountain King, to me, is the perfect traditional metal album. I mean, it's perfection from start to finish. While this album, Power Pop, but it's perfect Power Pop. First one I ever heard back in 1970, either early 78 or 77, before M Budok uh, Budokan came out, because a friend of mine ordered it on Columbia House for me so he can get an extra record, and he wrote down like 10 records for me to get, and he added this one, and I don't know if it was by mistake or whatever, but I got it. I never listened to it. I had it on cassette, and I was going to tape over it on a King Biscuit Flower Hour show. My friend Eladio Fernandez came by, and he said, Hey, put it on and see what it sounds like. I was like, all right. Put it on, heard that opening riff of Hello There. Me and him became instant fans. And I like this one more because I've, you know, this is part of my childhood. This is part of the threat, the fabric, the threat of my fabric, man. But, man, Hall of Mount King, this is going to be painful. I'm going to be complaining. I'm going to be complaining. All right. Hello There versus 24 Hours Ago. Like I said, that opening riff. Dan -dan 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 -dan. Man, it's so damn special to me. But I'm giving that to Sabotage, man, because... 24 hours ago is just too badass, man. All right, next. Big Eyes versus Beyond the Doors of the Dark. See, now I'm going to complain now. Beyond the Doors of the Dark is so damn perfect. The way it starts with the little hauntingness and then... Da -da -da -da. Ah! Badass, man. But Big Eyes, dude, I can't, I can't go against Big Eyes. You know, it's not, that song's not about big eyes. It's about big breastesses. Did you know that? All right, I'm giving that to Cheap Trick. All right, Down. All right, I'm going to tell you right now. I don't even have to look at the Sabotage CD. Down is going to win. Because I think Down is a better song than all the songs off this Sabotage album. That's right, I said it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to write, I'm going to give it to Cheap Trick without even looking at what song it is. But I'm going to look now what song it is. Legions of the Night. Love the song, but downed. All right, next. I want you to want me. I'll tell you this right now. I already, I, I can write it down. Sabotage won this, and I don't even know what it's going against. So I want, and I want you to want me. I, I do love the song on, at Budokan. I like that, that bonus track on the first album CD reissue. You know, the raw version. This version sucks. Uh, but even if it was, like, the better versions, I still don't think it's better than anything off this. And what's it going against? Strange Wings. I, let's see, I already wrote it down. That song rules. Featuring the late, great, well, I don't know how great, of a human he was, but a late great vocally, Ray Gillen. Um, all right, that's the end of side one here, but we still got your all talk here. Let me pick a random album. Let's go right down here. Oh, man, the incredible uh, When the Walls uh, Came Tumbling Down. This is Def Leppard, an, a record store day album from um, the first album, 1980. This is when they were New Wave of British Heavy Metal. The only album to be New Wave of British Heavy Metal. You can't call High and Dry New Wave of British Heavy Metal. That's more ACDC. This smokes, man. Ten Arm Def Leppard is my favorite Def Leppard. I can care less about anything they did without Pete Willis. And yes, Pete Willis was on Pyromania, and I'm proud to say I love that album. I don't care how popular it is. And, you know, he, he wrote a lot of it, and he played rhythm guitar. He didn't feature. But anyway, enough of that. Let's, let the torture continue, as Blackie says. Until this episode's over, the torture never stops. All right, you're all talk. Please don't go. Please don't go away from me. 
versus Prelude to Madness. You know, I'm going to give it to Cheap Trick. If it was Hall of Mountain King, Prelude to Madness together, I'd give it to Hall of Mountain. I'd give it to Sabotage. But, da 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 As I said, it's a perfect album. I love it. But I love You're All Talk. What a ripping tune. All right, now we go on to side two over here. Uh, and it's O Caroline versus Hall of Mount King. I love O Caroline, but Sabotage. Ooh, it's a tie. Right on. All right, Robert. This is a good one, bro. Even though it's apples and oranges, and there's a lot of people out there so upset about this that tampons are flying out of their butts. True. Because they don't pay bills. They don't know what real problems are. All right. Um, clock strikes 10 versus the price you pay. Man, I love them both. I'm giving it to, I'm giving it to Cheap Trick. Clock strikes 10. It's a Saturday night. Southern Girls, one of my favorite Cheap Trick songs. Going against... See, man, <sighs> White Witch. You know, that song, White Witch, it took me about 30 years to figure out that song's about cocaine. I never knew. It was, I was like walking one day with my iPod shuffle. That song came on. I'm listening to how cool the lyrics are. And I was like, wait a second. This song's about blow. I got to give it to Sabotage, man. Damn. And look at this. It's a tie. Oh, boy. All right, we've got two more left. Come on, come on. I know you can do it. I love it. Versus Last On, rest in peace, the mighty Chris Oliva with a beautiful little instrumental, but cheap trick, man. It's just such, it's power pop perfection, man. Now, okay, the next one's going to determine if it's going to be a tie or if it's going to win. And it's, Ooh, it's so good to see you. I couldn't wait another day. Love it. Versus oh, total devastation. Oh, man. No, actually, it's not a tie. <laughs> it's a, well, yeah, it's it's not going to be a tie. Sabotage wins. This sounds too, too mighty. And again, it is luck of the draw. Or maybe Sabotage didn't win. I don't know. Now I'm going to complain. Whatever. They both rule. If you all were taking score, I'm thinking it was a tie. Leave a comment below. Is it a tie? I think it was a tie. I think I gave the point of Last Dawn to Sabotage when I meant to give it to Cheap Trick, but I could be wrong. What do you all think? I need this on vinyl. Uh, I used to have it on vinyl, but I don't know what happened to it. Anyway... And I know it was recently it reissued, so I got to get on the ball because it's not only my favorite Sabotage album, I think it's like in the top 10 of greatest traditional albums ever done. And I love this one too. It should be a tie. But anyway, Robert McGrath, thank you so much for the donations, my friend. And uh, you really made me suffer. Yes, you did. But that's the way, hey, hey. I get paid to suffer. And I'd rather suffer like this than, you know, shit, to even stub my toe. I'd rather do this than stub my toe. You know, it's pain without pain. Does that make sense? Of course not. Don't listen to me. I'm insane. So if you like to donate, I got a PayPal in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. I want to live on a mountain way down under in Australia. It's either that or suicide. It's just a strain, strain on smash my gob.